Hey there, Hakama, welcome back. Today we will be focusing on a crucial aspect of Android development security. We will explore the Brazil Secrets blogging and how it helps us keep our sensitive information safe within our projects. When developing Android apps, we often use secret elements like API tools, passwords, or authentication tokens. These are essential for app functionality, but if left, they can cause serious security issues. The Gradle Secrets plugin is a handy tool that helps us manage secrets securely within our Android projects built with Gradle. We create a separate properties file outside of version control. We have, for example, the local.properties file. This file will store our sensitive information. The Gradle Secrets plugin reads these secrets during the build process and exposes them as variables accessible within the code. Some advantages of using this Enhance security By keeping secrets out of version control systems, we significantly reduce the risk of accidental exposure. Simplified management Manage secrets separately, making our project code cleaner and easier to maintain. Improve collaboration Team members can work on the project without needing access to the whole secrets. Does that sound interesting? Let's dive in and implement it into a new project with Android Studio. So welcome to this demo I set up. We are in Android Studio Iguana. I set up this small project to showcase the issue here. We have these two sensitive informations, the API key and the map api key which is used here and as you can see this code file will be checked in with the git that i'm using in version control system and it's also used here in the manifest so by sending this into our remote code base we'll be exposing those informations that's what we want to avoid by using the secrets gradle plugin first thing we need to do is to integrate the sdk into our project here we are using version catalogs if you don't know yet about version catalogs please check the video that's showing at the top of this video right now so here we'll be adding the version of the sdk and we call it secrets Secrets Gradle login login and we go to the documentation to get that version. Uh, we come here, we only need the version from this. This is the old way of doing things, we are not using it. So we copy that and we paste here. Then we have to create an entry in the plugins so that we can use it. We call it again secrets, secrets gradle plugin. And here we need the ID of the plugin. Let's go back there and copy it from here. We see the ID, we can copy it. We copy it and we paste it here. Then we add the version we created earlier. So range under web equals secrets uh, as you can see really nice feature we have to completion so that's it we have an entry into our catalog for the secrets gather plugin next thing we need to do is to resolve the plugin we do that into our project uh, level build of gather file so let's go there so we we'll create an alias here lips lips dot plugins dot secrets and we are not applying it here we are just resolving it so false and then next one we need actually to apply it into our module so we go to our module rather than file and then alias lips dot plugins dot secrets and then the intelligence comes in again 
so here we have uh, our setup let's see the project okay so far we have the sdk in to our project what we need now is to use a top a project top level properties file and the default one accepted by this secrets gradle plugin is the local the properties we have it here so we can just go ahead and add a value so let's uh, let's say we want to put our api key here api key and um, let's go there and copy it api key let's copy it then go back paste it here right and then uh, let's build the project that's essential so that the plugin can uh, create an entry for this api key now the build is done let's go back to our main and let's try to call build config let's see what happens build config build config and we can see that it is not resolving build config if you have this issue then you probably have a recent version of android studio the build config is not enabled by default you have to enable it manually to do that we go to the module build on gradle and then we go to the build features here yeah, the build features configuration block then here we have, we add build config and we enable it after enabling it let's synchronize our project and then let's build again so that the entries uh, can be created once the build is done let's go back and let's try to use build config again that's it you can see that we have it now when we say dot you see that we also have our api key entry that we created earlier right that's already cool um now this is not the only way this is just the default and as you know this file is created by android studio so uh, personally i don't know about you but uh, i don't really like using files that i don't control myself for that to save my secrets i create a custom properties file so for that go to the project and then there i create a new file i call it secrets the properties secrets the properties uh, think twice before checking it in or out and uh, you can actually use this to create kind of a framework about secrets in your team i will not add it on my side because i don't want uh, to be sharing so once i have it let's add here the maps the maps api key maps api api key and then let's go and copy let's go back to the android view and go back there and copy the maps here let's copy this and then go back to our sandy created secrets file and paste it here right once we do this you may be tempted to go and build but that will not work because Gradle does not know yet that you created this file, this secrets file, and that you want it to contain your secrets. So we need to tell Gradle about this file here, that it should be our secrets file. We go to the module build file, and then we add a new configuration block for secrets. We call it secrets. And in this secrets configuration block, we can then uh, set the properties properties file name file name then we, we tell the name which is secrets dot properties right 
ok now we can synchronize it and build the project again once the project is built let's go back there and let's call again build config dot now you see that we have the maps api key that is present in the secrets properties here but we don't have api key anymore which we wrote into local properties so how can we fix that this is the last fix we will be doing let's go back to the gradle the module gradle file this year and here we also tell it that the default um, properties file name is still local dot properties local dot properties right once we send it we synchronize then we build again don't forget to build so that the entry the entries are created on the build config class okay let's go back now and check again so build config now we should have api key that's cool we have it and also maps api key we have it so our two files are taken into consideration now we can easily remove this hard coded and replace with build build config dot api key and here build config dot maps api key right now by pushing this we are not exposing our sensitive informations anymore and that was the goal now that we did this uh, let's see if our application will still show us our keys to make sure that everything is still working okay let's go on and here we are as you can see we still have the exact same informations now read at build time this api key read from the local properties file and the maps api key read from the secrets properties file that we created ourselves now there's only one last thing to do here remember that this plugin also supports reading these values into the manifest and we know that we use this maps api key here so we can replace this with we can replace this with our maps api key we can replace it directly here into the manifest and it will replace the value at build time for us that's it dear friend if you enjoyed coding with me hit the like button now Drop your comments down below and don't forget to subscribe. Keep coding and see you next time. Ciao.